Welcome back viewers. In the last video, we have seen how to install Ubuntu Linux distribution in the WSL system of Windows. And in this video, we will install the Podman. So basically what we are trying to do is we will be installing the Podman that is the engine for the containers. Then we will do operations on containers on Ubuntu Linux distribution that is been run in the WSL system of Windows. So at a time we are doing many things we are we will be checking out the podman containers then we will be checking out the wsl system of windows also so it will be a very uh, enriching learning experience for all of us including me i am also doing it for the first time so let us start with the installation of the ubuntu uh, this uh, podman on ubuntu so i have got uh, another uh, guide open so in this guide it is shown how to install podman for the ubuntu so we will follow this so earlier uh, guide it was for the kali linux but the uh, previous steps to install the linux distrib distribution are same for all the linux distribution only the version or the um, linux distribution will change so and uh, that then after the linux distribution is installed there are different uh, uh, commands to install podman so podman also i think uh, it will be similar but later on uh, once the podman is installed for the containers there will be some differences so we will stick with the guide and this is a separate guide for the ubuntu so let us stick with this so we will not go wrong because this is new for me and of course this will be new for you also so let us try to install the uh, this uh, podman in ubuntu via terminal install so by uh, giving this uh, dash y option you are uh, uh, giving a confirmation to install uh, everything so all, all dependencies everything will be installed so all options will be uh, by default give a, given a confirmation yes so now you can see it it will not uh, stop for your confirmation it will directly start install, installing and all the dependency issues if there are those will be resolved automatically so here you can see just after the installation is complete it, you can see it is installing the builder so builder is a tool uh, advanced tool for uh, managing your containers so we had uh, in the earlier video we have seen builder and scopio so Scopio or Scopio, so it was there. I will just go back, open this uh, this uh, Red Hat Podman uh, guide, Builder and Scopio. Yes, it was Sco Scopio. So that is right now going on. So I will just go back to the Ubuntu guide. You can see the container networking plugins. Libavahi is there lib d configuration d -com service session migration you can see it everything all the tools required to install the podman are going on it's pulling all the dependencies of podman once this uh, installation is complete we will do a check of different uh, all these packages that were installed let us take uh, take a look at the uh, different packages that are the dependencies for installing podman so we will learn uh, many things about the podman you can see even c run is there so if you remember i mentioned in earlier video c run was there so it is getting uh, then this fuse uh, packages for the file system that will be running inside the container so that's it you have installed the podman just uh, we take a look at the different packages that were downloaded. So this was the update. After the update was done, we had gone for the upgrade, update, then upgrade was there done. So this was the upgrade. We go down. 
now we will uh, after the update and upgrade now we will go with the installation of podman so here you can see the different packages build catatonic conmon this is connection monitor i think container networking plugin c run uh, dconf uh, g settings backend dconf service dns root data if you remember it uh, this contains uh, the rootless container so you can see here the dns root data is there dns mask provider base fuse overlays this is for the file system glib networking glib networking common glib networking services golang github container networking plugin dns name so if you remember it has got different name spaces so all this you have to remember golang github containers golang github containers image g settings desktop schemas lib archive lib awahi lib awahi common data lib awahi common tree uh, then lib d configuration uh, lib gpg so this is the gpg keys uh, package lib uh, libos tree lib proxy lib soup lib soup all these are networking uh, applications then this is the session migration ap uh, application package and there are some su suggested packages like the container storage it is for the container storage lr zip maybe it is some uh, zip and zip program docker compose so docker compose is very much important then following new packages are there uid uh, so this is the uid map so it will create uh, the uid map for the containers so total 34 newly installed packages will be there and around 26.7 mb of archives will be uh, downloaded so that's it what is uh, this is the output of the installation complete installation of podman then it will create the system links for the podman service you can see it here set set up the dcom service leave awahi and finally after that the networking service then it will set up the builder uh, tool and process some triggers for the man db so the manuals for the different application uh, packages that have been installed those will be added to the man uh, man pages and it will be updated you can see it everything is here decom settings backend will be updated and finally after uh, processing all the triggers and uh, updating the manuals it will process the libc bin so the uh, executables will get updated and the installation will complete now what we will do is just before closing let us uh, try this what is the podman version that has been installed so you can uh, uh, check this out using this podman space dash dash version so we will use this command and then stop the video so the podman version is 3.4.4 so here in the guide it was 3.4.2 so some latest packages are available because we are using the ubuntu 22.04 lts so that's why the uh, this is called latest so we are using 22.04.1 to be very precise so the podman version is uh, quite latest one and with this i will stop the video here from the next video we will uh, uh, install the container images then do the operations on the container images we will attach to the containers do different operations on the containers and uh, eventually we will learn how the containers work how the applications how the images are uh, pulled how the images are built for the containers using podman in ubuntu so bye bye see you in the next video